some of the older saints probably already heard this, but this still needs to be taught. And yeah. if you can't, if, you, if people can't believe the Bible, if you can go out and you can find it at the library. You can find it on the internet. There's only one God. Amen. And uh, the things that we taught about how the Catholic Church, they, they change everything. They brought in a Trinity doctrine. Uh -huh. And the Trinity doctrine has been handed down through the other uh, churches. It's yeah. been handed down to all of us. Probably there's a lot here that came out of the Trinity movement. Yeah. And the thing about this, there's only one God. And we got to believe that tonight. That's the only way you're going to get your sins remitted. Is to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, I've got some photos that I just stuck in here about bapt on baptisms and different ones. That's some of the baptisms we've done. That's just in there because I just I thought it was good. I, we've always taught being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I was taught that when I was a little boy, and uh, I'm still I'm 68 now, and I'm still teaching it. Still living. If I live to be a hundred, I'm still going to be standing right. right on my tombstone over there. I've got the Acts two thirty eight right on the tombstone. So when I'm gone, if what I don't leave behind this way, the people are going to walk by and say, "Well, that brother right there, he believed in being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ." Amen. Amen. But it's an old picture of me and Brother Donnie and uh, Sister Rosie. They're both gone now, but. That's one of our baptism services. But it said, who changed the formula? It makes a difference how you do things. That's right. And it says, the following is a list of summary references proving that baptism was changed by the Catholic Church from what Jesus taught and the apostles practiced. What the apostles practiced, that's we, what we, we got to practice. Yeah. What Jesus taught, We've got to, we've got to go by the same things, yeah. and that's what uh, I want to go through. I got most of the stuff. I'll give you copies of the notes so you can take them home with you, and just don't take it for myself. Go look it up yourself. Sure. Go, go look it up. Look something. I'll tell you what. You'd be surprised how much stuff if you just go on in the library and you look some of these words and some of these men up, some of the things you can see how. The man changed it. Right. Don't you think the church has been changed down yeah, through time? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, just yeah. change it all the time. In our lifetime, we've seen it change and yeah. change and change. But God said he was going to put it in the hearts of men to fulfill his will. Right. All right. Biblical references. Matthew 28, 19. Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the what? Name. Don't say names. No. But it says in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. This was a command. Right. Jesus commanded us to do that. But you cannot find nowhere in the Bible where anybody ever baptized in the title. Right. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. Can't find it. It's Amen. not in there. Right. Because the people that preach the gospel have all tuned in on the name. They did baptize in his name. They baptized in the name of the Father, which was Jesus Christ. Yes. They baptized in the name of the Son, which was Jesus Christ, and they baptized in the Holy Ghost, which is Jesus Christ. They're all the same. Amen. They're all one. How many believe that? Amen. All right. <clears throat> in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, then Peter said unto them, Repent, be baptized every one of you, and here's that, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I've seen people go down to the river, and they try to put it all in there. I've, I've seen, I heard them once said something, if I'm, if I'm correct, they said, we baptize you in the, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost by the authority of Jesus Christ. I mean, they say, well, I want to make sure I get it right. But I want to do it the way they did in the Bible. Right. Jesus did give us that commandment, but it wasn't intended as a use beyond his name. We've got to use his name. The Bible said, whatsoever you did, word and deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the way, that was in the Jerusalem where that Peter preached that first message. In Acts, this is in Samaria. He said, for as yet he had fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So he was baptized in his name. 
See? Mm -hmm. now, this was in Samaria. All these different cities where God had <coughs> done his work. Now he said, go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Well, Peter went and baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So that tells me that the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost was Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Father is not a name. Yeah. It's a title. Yeah. I'm a father tonight. Yeah. I'm a son. Yeah. I'm an uncle. I'm a grandfather, but my name is Glenn Jenkins. Yes. I can write you, Brother Tipton, I can write you a check for a thousand dollars tonight and write father on it, and you wouldn't be able to get a tax. Fine. All right. In Caesarea, remember Apostle Paul, and he said he or Peter when he baptized Cornelius, he said, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Now in the 36th verse, it's not on your list, but in the 36th verse in this chapter right here, it said that Peter said he came preaching peace by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He is Lord of all. That Lord of all is in parentheses. How many believe Jesus is Lord? Yes. The Bible says he's Lord. The Bible says God has made him Lord and Christ. Yeah. People got him on the uh, bumper sticker says Jesus is Lord, but then when they go down to the water, they'll baptize in some other name. And I know it's tradition. Mm -hmm. People don't know any better. A lot of people has, has done that. Our brother Bishop, he, t he told, told that when he got baptized when he first got in church, he said he waded in his sock feet across a cornfield in the snow to get baptized. And he said he, he didn't know what they said when they baptized him. He was just going to get baptized. He felt good. He repented. He didn't know. But you know what? We should know. We want people to know why they're getting baptized yeah. and how, how what importance of it is. But you know what? As time went on, God revealed himself to Brother Doug. And Brother Doug had to come back out and go and preach against the things that, that he had taught. He had yeah. baptized that way. Some of you brothers have done yes. that too. Yes, but once you saw the light, you had to come out. Yeah. Yeah. This is in Caesarea. And this is in Ephesus. All these different cities. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the what? The name of the Lord Jesus. That name. That name. We've got to be baptized in that name. Yeah. And I'll say, well, it says Lord Jesus. You know what? We baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. When I refer to Brother Johnny, I don't always say Brother Johnny, sir. I refer to him as Brother Johnny. You know, he's my friend. You know, we're brothers in the Lord. I don't have to call him Johnny Sturgill every time I say him. But that's the same way it is with the Lord. As the Lord, they was teaching, and <clears throat> Luke was writing in the Bible. He referred to the Lord Jesus. He referred to the Lord. But they knew by the first message that Peter baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Not this Jesus. There's a lot of Jesuses. Right. In the Mexican language or Spanish, they call it Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a guy that played baseball. His name was Jesus. There's a lot of people. That's a common name. I, me I remember that uh, with Brother uh, Schumach that that I met a guy that was at the church up in uh, Indiana, and he was from down in, uh, in, in Mexico, and he had a couple churches down there, and he said that there's a lot of people down there that come to church that their name was Jesus. So when he had to get up and preach, he had to tell them that the name of God was Jesus Christ, not this Jesus. Mm -hmm. I know people said, well, the Lord Jesus Christ, but the thing about it is, when me and my wife got married. She just had to marry Glenn Jenkins. Of course, in the day we're living in, people don't, women don't have to take their husband's name now. That's the way people are in church. They can still say they're married to Christ, but still not have his name. Right. <clears throat> nope. Anybody's got any questions? I know I'm talking fast. Is Lord just a title? Right? Yeah, Lord's a title. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, just like Acts 10 and 36, he said that he preached peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. And the Bible says there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's only one Lord. But just because I refer to him as Lord Jesus or just because I say Jesus. Now, I don't use Jesus' name because that's not scriptural. I don't use that. It's not in the Bible. I know a lot of people use Jesus' name, but that's not his name. His name's not Jesus' name. That's something that somebody stuck in there. Mm -hmm. I don't use that. 
I know in a lot of our songs, I hear that Jesus name, but I, I just, I don't really like it because his name is Jesus Christ. Yes. That's right, Master, the one I serve. All right, Brother Paul and his conversion. I believe he was in Damascus, and I believe the man of God asked him, "said Now, why tarryest thou? Rise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the what? The name of the Lord. I think they done in the name of the Lord, don't you? Because he went on and taught baptism. And we can also read in the Scripture how that Apollos. How that Priscilla and Aquila, uh, that was a man and wife, that on their, on their journeys that they ran into a man in the 18th chapter of Acts, his name was Apollos. And he said he was mighty, fervent in the, in the spirit. And it said what he was preaching, that it said he only knew the baptism of John. But the Bible said they took him aside and they expounded the way of God more perfectly to him. And then later on we can read in the, in the Bible where Paul he referred to Apollos, he said, he said, Apollos is planted, and, and, or Paul planted, and Apollos watered, and God gives the increase. So I believe he was preaching water baptism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another little baptismal picture there. I believe that's me and Jerry, and I think that's my nephew David. But he said, Know ye not that so many of us as was baptized into Jesus Christ was baptized into his death. Right. So if we haven't been baptized into his death, then how can we be in likeness of his word for us? Right. See what I'm saying? These ain't my words, this is what the Bible says. All right? In Galatia, or Galatian people, that's Sister Linda there. We got a picture of her there. Brother Johnny. Hey, man, well, I'm, I'm proud of that picture there. I'm proud when I stick these pictures in because that means people's obeying the gospel. Yes. Yeah, you know, there have been no uh, baptistries, you know, when we go through this. Right. Galatians 3.27, he said, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Y'all yeah. yeah. see that? All the way through the Bible. But remember when he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name, singular, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That's what his name is. You know the word of is a preposition. That means to proceed from or belong to. So the name belonging to the Father, or the name that proceeded from the Father. Jesus said, I come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. But if another came in his own name, him you'll receive. Yeah, yeah. People take everything. I've seen now through the years, people do everything and They'll pray in Jesus', Jesus yeah. name and they'll, they'll pray to the Lord, do everything, but when they get down to the water, they won't put his name on. Right. They want to go with this old Catholic teaching. Yeah. Sometimes I might sound kind of rough, but I don't mean to, because I know there's a lot of good people, honest people, that don't know it. Yeah. And you know, I, I've been thinking this week sometimes when we preach to people, we ought to preach to uh, people like we, we're preaching to our own family. Yeah. Like we're preaching to our own children. You know what? We could be rough on strangers, but we ought to really think about things when, when we meet people, what kind of impression we leave on people. Mm -hmm. In Colossians, he said, 2 and 12, he said, buried with him in baptism. God be baptized. Wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. That's how we get to take part of the resurrection. We've been teaching this for a long time. How about Brother Peter? If you read the first verse from Peter, all the different uh, places, the people that he was talking to, all the Gentiles around about and all the Israelites, he was speaking to all of them. But he said, in like figure, where to even baptism, he was talking about Noah, he says, in like figure, whereunto even baptism does now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of the good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christ amen. amen. I want to be in that name, don't you? How can you have a good conscience 
if you're not baptized in his name. That's right. right. I mean, you have to know what you're being baptized for and what it's for. That's today, right. people are taught that you don't even have to be baptized. In the land that we're living in today, you can do it any way you want to, or you don't even have to be baptized. But yeah. that was a commandment given by God. You know, it, just like he said earlier, I don't know if it's a problem might be in your lesson, but in 325 A.D., baptism was changed by the Catholic Church from, Father, from Jesus Christ and the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yes, it was. And people today will take Matthew 28, 19, and because it's written in red, they'll say, I'm going to do what God said. Well, God told you how to do it. If you find out who his name is, then you can be baptized in his name. Just like you said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not a name. Them are all titles. And people have just went on by tradition, by the preaching, and the, every church in this world has been handed out. He said the mystery battle, the mother of hearts. They, every one of them stands on the doctrine of the Catholic Church. They baptize just like the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. even though they may be Baptist, Methodist, mm -hmm. Episcopalian, whatever, they still do it like the mother church. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it all came down for a moment. Yep. You know, the Bible said that we're without excuse. And that's what I'm trying to teach on tonight. People's without excuse yeah. if they don't know who God is. Yeah. He's not a creature. No, no. He's God. And exactly. the Bible said that people's without excuse because we can find it in history. We can find it in the Gospels. Mm -hmm. But when you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you just fulfilled Matthew 28, 19. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. You take a bumper sticker or something. That back under the law, so you just fulfill yeah. Matthew 28, 19. So the only way you can obey it or fulfill it is to be baptized in the name yeah. of Jesus yeah. Christ. Amen. I was baptized that way one Anybody time. Anybody recognize anything coming these people? Through. <laughs> So see that's still going on. Still the same thing. We're teaching and preaching the same thing. Who's that on the right? And that on the left, that's Brother Taylor and Brother Warren Barcher. And I'm not sure who the lady is in the middle. Some says it might be Beatrice, that would be Joe's mom. And some says it looks like Lucille. Who you say with John and Taylor? The main thing is they did. And we got evidence of it. Is that with? the same place? Uh, that first picture? Is that Storm Creek? Uh, honey, I don't know where it's at. I just know it's Orville Hankins and, and Harrison Jenkins, and they're baptizing Kelly Horn. Oh, in 1958. See, yeah. now our church here was opened up in 1963. But see, they've had a church a long time before that. That's five years before that. So my grandfather and Brother Hankins was. They was the first minister, pastor, and sister pastor here at the church. So we're still teaching the same thing they did. That's right. That's a good picture, because I like to stick in there. Mm -hmm. Who started the Trinity Doctrine? And I'm not going to go into a lot of stuff here tonight, but I want to show you something what can help the Lord. All people that believe in the Trinity, they'll tell you that they believe in one God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you look at this diagram right here, up here on the left, you see that where it says the Father, yep. and over there it says the Son, and down at the bottom it says the Holy Spirit. All right? If you look at the dots that connect the Trinity, <coughs> they'll say the Father is God, and they'll say the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Now they'll tell you that. But here's what they don't tell you. See the triangle on the outside? They'll say the Father is not the Holy Spirit. Is he? Yes, he is. Yes, he, he is. is. Yes. yes, it's the Trinity. Okay? Mm -hmm. The Father is not the Son. Yes, That's the Trinity. Yes, he is. See, they separate. And he is not the Son, is not the Holy Spirit. See how confusing that is? Yeah, very. I'm not going to go into big 
blessing on this, but I'm, I'm just giving you. These are what they use to teach it. They really can't teach the Trinity because there's no, they can't understand it. Sure. Everybody, right. they'll tell you it's a mystery. Yeah. Y'all see that, what I'm talking about? Now, this is not your lesson. This is something I stuck in there. It's really confusing when you hear them preach it because they say about the Father and God the Son, and it's so confusing. Well, it's just like you say, and I, and, I, and I don't speak this to damn anybody, but people, you wonder who they pray to. Yeah. And I've had people tell me, well, I pray to God the Father, yeah. and he said, then I pray to Jesus, and then I pray to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really confusing. <laughs> yes. God in the beginning said, There hear ye, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Right. Thou shalt have no other God before him. Yes. There was never any other God ever taught in the Bible. Right. There's only one God. Yes. Israel got in trouble because they served multiple gods. Right. They were, in the beginning of the church, there was one God that was mm -hmm. taught. But all the pagans and all the preachers and the priests of that day, they came in and put their theories, and they put yes. philosophy in, they took... They studied the Greek philosophy and they come in and they made doctrine out of it and they come together and voted and they changed it for everybody. That's like you're talking about the government making all these decisions for everybody, whether it's the will of God or not, but they still got the gall to do that. If this whole world's around in 200 years and the only thing you're going to know about this stuff is it's worse than it is now and there's some guy back here that, that signed a bill to do it. That's just what I'm saying. The devil's the ones doing all this yes. stuff. But God said he put it in the hearts of people to fulfill his will. Now this is the first guy that really taught this. His name was Tertullian. This is not on your paper either. So the first defense of the doctrine of the Trinity was by Tertullian, who was born around 150, 160 AD. This is right after the apostles died explicitly defined the Trinity as Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And Holy Spirit, I'm sorry. And defended his theology against Priaxis. And this is another guy. He was a oneness preacher. He taught the oneness of God. He believed that there was one God. But this guy, he taught a Trinity of gods. But it's like I said, I can't teach all that. I'm just telling you. If you look up some of this stuff, you'll find all these names. You'll see all this information. Although he noted that the, he noted, he wrote it in his notes, he noted that the majority of the believers in his day had an issue with his doctrine. In other words, there's a lot of people that didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. But he was the first one that we have record of that started bringing it in. And you see that? Wasn't very long. Remember Apostle Paul preached? He said, after my departing, he said, grievous mm -hmm. wolves is going to enter in yeah. among the flock, teaching doctrines of devils, yeah. teaching all this stuff, right. and they were causing people to sin. And, and the thing about it was the, the known church world, it just got worse and worse, and, and people being persecuted, and people was hiding out to where they couldn't worship God. There was a great persecution. A lot of apostles was martyred and killed, and a lot of people was burned at the stake and fed the lions for their faith in God. But you know what? The truth has prevailed. Yeah. This old King James Bible, it's prevailed down through the times. This is the rest of it. It said, under the influence of this STOIC, this is another, this is a, a study, a philosopher, uh, a study philosophy. Tertullian believes that all things are material. God is a spirit, he says, but a spirit is a material thing made out of a finer sort of matter. At the beginning, God is alone, although he has his own reason with him. See, it's confusion. He's trying to teach it. A spirit don't have no matter. You can't see a spirit. Yeah, that's right. But that's kind of, they took all that Greek philosophy and they said, why is it? That's how they were trying to explain the Trinity. All right, y'all with me? Yeah. All right. If you go to your telephone and you go to Webopedia there, or you ask your phone a question, and they'll say, today the Trinity formula, here's the formula, is the phrase in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. See, the early church taught in the name of Jesus Christ. But when they started bringing the Trinity in, here, I'll show you something else too. There was a confusion over the Jews, the pagans, and the Christians. And the Romans, there's all confusion. There's so many different doctrines. 
But the thing about it is, the only thing that brought confusion was the name. And they knew if we could just do away with the name and just say God, anybody could come here. I mean, any God, you ever, we could all come under the house of worship and say God, because yep. it don't make no matter who's God or you serve it. You see right. what I'm saying? Yep. It could be any God. But when you have the name, that's what separates. That's the reason they done away with water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ was to do away with persecution of the name. Today, I'll tell you what, if you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, people's going to persecute you. Yes, People hate that name. They'll say, I love Jesus, but they don't love him. No. If they loved him, they'd live for him. Right. <clears throat> but that's, if you want to look at it, that, that's just a one. All right. A lot of us just look down through this list. This is Britannic Encyclopedia. It tells the volume page. Now, this is what was written. The baptismal formula was changed from the name of Jesus Christ to the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost by the Catholic Church in the second century. Yep. See the Catholic change. And I just would like maybe on another part of this, we're going to talk about the Council of Nicaea and see how they change things. What I'm reading to you now, it's not in the Bible. Okay? It's history. It's out of encyclopedias. All right? I don't want people to say, well, it says in the Bible that the Catholic they don't say that. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm just, I'm reading it to you. I'm giving you evidence. In Britannic Encyclopedia, it said, everywhere in the oldest sources, it states that baptism took place in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Caney Encyclopedia of Religion, get the page. The early church always baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus until, until the development of the Trinity doctrine in the second century. Yep. So see the Trinity come in. Right. It, was, it was the people changed. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Hastings Encyclopedia of Religion, get the page of the volumes of Christian baptism was administered using the words in the name of Jesus. Volume 2 in the page, he said, the use of a Trinitarian formula of any sort was not suggested in the early church history. And then he gives another page in volume. He said, baptism was always in the name of the Lord Jesus until the time of Justin Martyr when the triangle formula was used. <coughs> See, it's in history books, isn't it? Oh, people's without excuse. Catholic Encyclopedia. Justin Martyr was one of the early fathers of the Roman Catholic Church. You look up Justin Martyr, you'll find out a lot of us about him. <laughs> Hastings Encyclopedia of Religion. Name was an ancient synonym for person. You know, name is a per it's a synonym for person. Payment was always made in the name of some person referring to ownership. Therefore, one being baptized in Jesus' name became his personal property, he or Christ. Amen. So, if we're his, we should be called by his name, shouldn't we? Mm -hmm. right. New International Encyclopedia, the term Trinity was originated by Tertullian. Remember we read about him a while ago? A Roman Catholic church father. That's where it all came from. Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics. This was a 1951 issue. said, the formula used was in the name of Lord Jesus Christ or some Samanite Psalms. In other words, name a phrase like it. There is no evidence for the use of the triune name. The earliest form represented in the Acts was simple. Immersion in water and the use of the name of the Lord and the laying on of hands. To these were added at various times and places which cannot be safely identified. And the triune name, it's got Justin there, talking about Justin Martin. Got evidence? All these different places, these are all references. Mm -hmm. Sister Brandon, she put a thing on the, uh, Facebook here. 
recently. If you go to your phone and you ask, say, who changed water baptism? It'll come right up and tell you the Catholic Church. Yeah. Try it. You try it. Take right. the phone and try it. How did the early church baptize? It'll bring up and they'll tell you. It was in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. People without excuse. Amen. Right. But see, it's been handed down. Grandma and Grandpa did it, so we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I had a boy one time, me and him was talking, and I was going through the scriptures with him, and I'd been trying to show him baptism. And the boy told me that he had the Holy Ghost. He had spoken tongues, but he didn't understand the baptism. And I said, and, and we was reading, going through the scriptures. And, and i tell you what, I knew when he seen it. Because we read this one scripture, and he looked at it, and he looked at me. He said, I don't care what it says. You're not going to tell me that my, my grandmother, my grandfather, and all of them was wrong. I said, honey, what I'm telling you is there's more light right now. You That's need right. to have the light. Yeah. Amen. To walk by. That's because people can start out for the Lord anywhere. You can yeah. pray anywhere. You can make a start. But the, there's a Bible said there's a way that seems right in the man, but it's the ways of death. We've got to do it the way God says. And when it's revealed to us, when the true light shines more and more into our path, we've got to walk into that light. Yeah. The history of the Christian thought, Otto, I think it says Het. I, I, did, like, I did read some stuff about him. Uh, I don't know if that's the volume or what, but at first... At first, baptism was administered in the name of Jesus, but gradually in the name of the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. See, they even say it's a triune God, mm -hmm. a three-headed God. That's a monster. If you saw something with three heads, that'd be a monster. <coughs> Hastings Dictionary of the Bible. One explanation is that the original form of the words was in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptism into the name of the Trinity was later developed. See, it wasn't in the beginning of the early church. We can you prove that by the Bible. Brother Glenn. Yeah. Like, when I was when I was studying it out, um, yeah, we know the Bible says if you add to or take away, the plagues of the book will be added unto you. Well, the Catholics, in their own encyclopedia up at the Iron Library, volume 2, page 263, they admit that the original apostles baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, they say Peter's their first pope. Well, like the pope now, they change what sin is. Well, God said if you add to or take away, the plagues of this book are going to be added to you. They admit right there that they're the ones that they're not doing it the way the original apostles done it. But they admit the apostles done it in the name of Jesus Christ. I was told this, and I can't say this is absolutely correct, but I was told that if you was to go and join the Catholic Church and you was to tell them that you had been baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that you, they would accept you into their church because they tell you that, that that's their baptism. Mm -hmm. That formula is the baptism. If you have to join their church, you've got to be baptized in them time. Yeah, they don't they baptize. Even, even they used to do it by immersion. Now they sprinkle. Yeah, they, they pour water over them. They sprinkle. Yeah. See, but that's not scripture either. It's not in the Bible. No. See how much they changed it? Yeah. Hey, man, that water was cold. They didn't want to get in that yeah. water, they build baptism. It's still cold, so let's sprinkle it. Ba Baptized comes from the Greek word baptismo, which means to immerse. Yeah. I know one time up in Holland, there's a whole revival. Be glad that it's done. And after the revival was over, a certain brother that held a revival, that weekend we had a re baptism over on Center Street. And it was about eight people to be baptized, and Johnny Bird was the minister who was going to help the guy that held the revival. Well, everybody was over the river waiting on him. He never showed up, so one guy went to his house to get him, and, oh, no, he says, I'm not going to baptize today. It's too cold out there. It was cold. <laughs> so Johnny Bird looked at me, and he says, you been that poor thing was a fruit, ain't you? You've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, ain't you? I said, yeah. Well, come on. You can help me. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even dress to help somebody baptize. 
Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's cold. People say, oh, it ain't cold. Yeah. You've been there three or four times or half a dozen times, it's cold. Mm -hmm. You can't feel your legs a lot of times. Right. But that's the thing. That's what we get. That's our sacrifice. I think that's a small price to pay. Yeah. yeah. Amen. I thank God for some of these younger fellas coming up and taking over a little bit because it is hard on us old guys. But I'll do it as long as I'm able to do it. All right. The history of the Christian church by Wilkes, Wilkeston Walters in 1947. The Trinitarian baptismal formula was displacing the older baptism in the name of Christ. So they want to do with that. So like I said, what I'm giving you tonight, these are all references out of encyclopedias. They're not in the Bible. Y'all with me? But I'm, I'm showing you, well, I showed you what was in the Bible, and I'm showing you what's in history. I want to prove what I'm saying. That's right. This is our Bible study. Not I want you, I want you to understand it. I want when somebody tells you something, you can take the scripture and say, hey, this is what the Bible says. Yeah. The new, whatever that name encyclopedia of religious knowledge, that was in 1957. The New Testament knows only baptism in the name of Jesus, which still occurs even in the second and third century. So back there, it was his name was used. Cain's Encyclopedia of Religions, 1970. Persons were baptized at first in the name of Jesus Christ or in the name of the Lord Jesus. Afterwards, with the development of the doctrine of the Trinity, they were baptized in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I believe that the Catholic Church is the old mother church. In the book of Revelation. Yes, yeah. Amen. I mean, I believe that. Yes. The old mother heart. Yeah. I, I believe that yes. she's a big part of us. And she's not all of it, but she's a big part. Yeah. And it talks about her harlot daughters. Yes. Yeah. People that came out of her, yeah. they still brought her doctrine yeah. with them. Right. So that made them, a, the, she, was a, she was a poor, that made them harlots. They came yeah. out. It's talking about the doctrine. They brought that old filthy doctrine out. Because the titles won't admit your sins. No. You know, the, the Pope even, the priests even sold indulgences. In other words, they give you, if you give me so much money, you can do this. Uh -huh. If you give me so much money, you can do that. Right. And that, that, was, that was a big thing that caused the Reformation because they just let people do whatever they want to do. Ain't that what they're doing today? Yeah. They tell you, put your money in the plate, you can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, persons were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or in the name of Lord Jesus. Afterwards, with the development of the Trinity, the doctrine of the Trinity, they were baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. This is Bible Encyclopedia, Book of It's in 1899. Uh, it is natural to conclude that baptism was administered in the earliest times in the name of Jesus Christ, or in that of the Lord Jesus. This view is confirmed by the fact that the earliest forms of baptismal confession appear to have been single, not triple, as was the later creed. It wasn't triple. I even read, too, that in some places they baptized you three times. Baptized for the Father, and for the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, I've baptized a couple of people twice. Yeah. <laughs> Devil did too. I've done a, I've told, called out their name wrong, or I've done something. Sister Debbie's mom, I, I called her by the wrong name, baptized her in the wrong name. I, I called her short, her name was Barbara. So I had to do it again. David didn't get his hair off. Amen. We had an old brother, we couldn't get him to go under. <laughs> brother Charlie. Brother, old brother Charlie, he, I was helping Brother Taylor baptize him. That was a lot of years ago. But he wouldn't, he'd stick his arms up and stick his legs up. <laughs> and, and it took three times to get him all the way up. And finally, Brother Jenkins got on him and throw him to the bottom. He said, I'll make sure he got him. Got him. <laughs> and I'll tell you, this is, I mean, this is really serious. There's a lot of things that, that people 
want to do it. I think about my brother Bill Vance when they baptized him over there. Both legs come up. <laughs> he had, I couldn't keep him. He only had a, <laughs> yeah. a stub to where he yeah. lost his legs. We carried people out in the water in chairs, wheelchairs. wheelchairs. Yeah. I, I, I preach this. I believe this. I yeah. believe it's the truth, and you got to do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th edition. This is 1910. The Trinitarian formula and the triune immersion were not uniformly used from the beginning. Baptism in the name of the Lord was the normal formula of the New Testament. In the third century, baptism in the name of Christ was still so widespread that Pope Stephen, in opposition to, to this other father, Oliver Carly, declared it to be valid. The evidence is overwhelming. Baptism in the name of Jesus is obviously the way the apostles baptized in the first yeah. church. Yeah. Yeah. And that, I'm not sure who the lady is. Civil. Civil, ain't Civil. That's civil. Okay. That's civil. That's Brother Chris and Brother Darren. That's all the evidence, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this.